Thank you, Honorable Chairman, sir. On behalf of my party, the Biju Janata Dal, and my leader, Sri Naveen Patnaik ji, I rise to support both the bills brought together by the government today. At the outset, I congratulate the Parliament, the government, the Honorable Home Minister for the historic judgment by the Honorable Supreme Court today on the abrogation of 370. It vindicates the stand of the Parliament, it vindicates the stand of the government, and it vindicates the stand of the Biju Janata Dal because we forcefully supported the entire abrogation bill on 2019 August. Honorable Chairman, sir, I also welcome the decision of the government to bring these two bills because it indicates the strong intent of the government to ensure that whatever is required in order to prepare JNK for democratic elections is being readied. And with that, we will very soon, probably next year, have a full-fledged Vidhan Sabha in the Jammu and Kashmir. I think the road is being set by this kind of a legislation coming in. It is also good that we have a very proactive Nyayik Delimitation Commission. Why do I say Nyayik? Because it is headed by a former Justice of the Supreme Court, which ensures that whatever recommendations of the Commission comes is beyond suspicion or doubt. I come to the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Bill, Honorable Chairman. The government has tried to build an inclusive and progressive outlook for Jammu and Kashmir Vidhan Sabha through this bill. The total seats are 114. Seven are being reserved for the scheduled tribes. It is a way forward for tribal's empowerment. My leader, Sri Naveen Patnaik ji, believes in tribal empowerment and we strongly support it. One seat is reserved for the displaced people from POK occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Who are these people, Honorable Chairman? In 1947, when there was Pakistani aggression, at that time, 31,779 families were displaced. Out of that, 26,319 families stayed back in JNK. 5,460 families moved on. Apart from that, in 1965, Indo Park War, 3,500 families were displaced. In 1971, Indo Park War, 6,565 families were displaced. Altogether, 10,065 families. If you add the previous 1947, it comes to 41,000. 845, 44 families that have been displaced and providing them a seat is a voice for them in the coming with Sabha. It's a very good step. Kashmiri migrants. Genocide, what Vivek Tankaji said, I strongly support his view. There was a genocide in 89-90 in Kashmir where our Kashmiri brothers and sisters had to forcibly leave their land in the middle of the night and run away for fear of life. We are providing them a voice today. I think this is a very good step. In this, we are adding one more, that a woman's representative will be there among these two. It's a very good woman's <coughs> empowerment move. Let's come to the data. The relief organization of Jammu and Kashmir says 46,517 families are recorded to have moved, which comes to 1,58,000 976 people were displaced because of this. Don't they deserve a voice, Honorable Chairman? They deserve a voice. This bill gives them that voice, and therefore my party, the BJD, and my leader, Sri Naveen Patnaik ji, we support it. Honorable Chairman, today they would be watching the television. Jan Bachaki Bhagna Parata, Avidhan Sabhame Betenge, Amara Bhavishin Hirne Karenge, Yesoj Yevikwas, Unkesatrahe. People residing in the Union territory of JNK, this is not part of the bill, this was done earlier, but I'd like to reflect on this. 24 seats have been reserved for such people who are today not within the jurisdiction of the Indian territory. They were a part of us. They will always be a part of us. And one day we will have the POK. They'll be part of the Vidhan Sabha. They will be with us. I will sum up the bill. My time is running out. Tribal empowerment through this bill, excellent. Kashmiri migrants get voice, excellent. Women's empowerment, excellent. Displaced people from POK getting a voice, excellent. Now I'll come to the second bill, very quickly, one minute. Jammu and Kashmir Reservation Amendment Bill 2023. Honorable Chairman, the second bill changes the nomenclature of weak and underprivileged classes to other backward classes. This has been brought on the recommendations of whom? 
not the government only man. it has been brought on the recommendations of the jammu and kashmir social and educationally backward classes commission a commission has gone into it and said we must have it so by the commission's recommendation it has come this is to do away with any confusion in giving out certificates any doubts any confusions would be moved away and ye sirf naam ke vaaste nahi hai this is not the change of name naam ke sath samman bhi jud raha hai aur ye samman ki baat hai aur sirf naam ke vaaste nahi sochna chahiye samman ke sath jod ke sochna chahiye i'll summarize 30 seconds more both the bills stand to empower the people of jammu and kashmir by this bill we reiterate our stand that the entire country 1.4 billion people stand with the people of jammu and kashmir we stood with them we stand with them we will stand with them this is a way towards new kashmir this is a way towards navin kashmir this is a way towards a prosperous peaceful and strong kashmir with these words on behalf of my leader shri navin patnaik ji and my biju janata dal party we support the bill thank you